The average person never thinks of the microscopic world around them. We're so consumed with everyday concerns that we never take the time to explore the minute details of our surroundings. But in recent years, microscope technology has become so advanced that seemingly ordinary things have been transformed into veritable works of art. However, sometimes these objects are scarier than we ever imagined. Today, we're exploring things that look terrifying up close. Most people are already terrified of insects without seeing them up close, but under a magnifying glass, these creepy creatures take on crazy new appearances. Each of their spindly legs and antennas is suddenly horrifying to behold. For instance, ants are covered in tiny hairs and have bulging eyes with no pupils, and their super strong mandibles look like a supervillain's weapon in a superhero movie. These creatures are super intelligent, and Africanized ants have been known to kill humans in the wild. Let's just hope you don't have the misfortune to see these creatures up close. But ants are an everyday insect. It can be even more unsettling to see exotic insects up close. Levin Biss is renowned for his high-definition photographs of athletes and celebrities. He is a master of lighting and has a legendary attention to detail. But Biss grew tired of his sports work and decided to photograph a new subject. Together with the Oxford Museum of Natural History, he was able to create microsculpture. His unique photographic process composites thousands of images using multiple lighting setups to create the final insect portraits. Each specimen was mounted on an adapted microscope stage, allowing close control over the position of the specimen in front of the camera lens. Most insects were photographed in about 30 sections. Each section lit differently with strobe lights to accentuate the microsculpture of that particular area of the body. Each insect portrait is created from over 8,000 separate images. Biss and his collaborators only accepted 1% of the possible bugs. They chose the ones with the most stunning colors and interesting shapes, cataloging thousands of insects that had never been observed in high definition. The Assabet River National Wildlife Refuge in Maine, Massachusetts had a similar project in which they cataloged flies, jumping spiders, dragonflies, and damselflies. And then there's the unpleasant experience of watching bugs eat one another. This can be gruesome because insects show no mercy when devouring each other. Some opt to desiccate their prey in a process where they essentially suck their insides dry. Others eat their prey whole, and others, like spiders, leave them trapped in a web while they slowly feed on them. This is alarming for anyone to see, let alone in high definition. Mosquitoes are potentially the most hated insects on Earth. They are responsible for more human death than any other animal, and they are terrible nuisances in most parts of the world. But with the advent of new scientific photography, these creatures just became even creepier. With the help of an electron microscope, researchers can zoom in for an extreme close-up on the leg, proboscis, and antennae of these parasitic monsters and potential disease carriers. The scaly proboscis conceals a number of tubes, some used to suck blood and others used to spit out saliva. It's our body's reaction to mosquito saliva that causes red, itchy lumps to form after they've taken a bite. At 750 times the normal size, we see the finer detail of the antenna covered in structures called sensillae. The size and shape of sensilla relates to its sensory function. The longer sensillae are important for sound reception, which plays a key role in mating. The relatively small number of hearing sensors tells us if the mosquito is female or male. If they are male, then the antennae are covered in sensillae and look quite feathery. Speaking of pests, the human flea has been bothering people for centuries. The human flea is one of more than 1,600 species and subspecies of flea that populate the Earth from the Arctic Circle to the deserts of Africa. Fleas parasitize mammals and birds for their blood, using special anatomical structures to attach to the host's skin. But under a super powerful microscope, these creatures are not only terrifying, they look like something out of a science fiction novel. Perhaps nothing is more terrifying than a bed bug, as seen under a scanning electron microscope. The insect's blood sucking mouthparts show up in purple. Although bed bugs live on blood, there is no evidence they can effectively spread bloodborne diseases. Aside from the stigma associated with them, the biggest problem with bed bugs is the allergic reaction their saliva can induce in humans. It's likely that you've never heard of the straw itch mite, but after seeing a close up image of it, you may have a hard time forgetting it. 
The tiny creature measures only 0.2 millimeters, and this spooky parasite actually feeds on human flesh. Luckily, they are too small to be dangerous to humans, but that doesn't make them any more endearing. Then there's the flat mite. This tiny insect looks like a spider without the mandibles and is sometimes called a false spider because of its similarity. And fortunately, this mite is not interested in feeding on humans. Instead, it feeds on wheat and other crops that humans depend on to survive. As repulsive as it is, perhaps you can take some solace in the fact that this creature will only grow to 0.011 inches long. Moving on to the colourful peacock mite, this animal is almost pretty if it weren't so dastardly looking. With bright orange skin and many strange looking limbs, this creature looks like an alien. But they are only native to Latin America and are only considered dangerous to citrus crops, meaning that you can vacation without worrying about their presence. But there are many creatures that are mystifying to watch out outside of the insect kingdom. For instance, squids possess a hypersensitive skin that changes color in real time to match its surroundings. It does so with tiny cells called chromatophores. Chromatophores are largely responsible for generating skin and eye color in ectothermic animals. Cephalopods, such as the octopus and squid, have complex chromatophore organs controlled by muscles to achieve this effect. Whereas vertebrates such as chameleons generate a similar effect by cell signaling. Such signals are produced by hormones or neurotransmitters and may be initiated by changes in mood, temperature, stress, or visible changes in the local environment. Squids are hyper-intelligent and use these pigments not only for camouflage, but also to communicate with one another. A competition, now in its 45th year, is dedicated to showcasing the beautiful and bizarre as seen under a light microscope. It attracted over 2,000 entries from 88 countries. The intention of the competition is to highlight everyday objects that become unbelievable when viewed under a microscope. Standouts include everyday dust, a wasp's eyes, and ladybug larvae. If you've been wondering what your favorite cocktail looks like under a microscope, look no further. Michael Davidson from the company BevShots captured these incredibly colorful images of alcohol under a microscope. To create these images of alcohol, Davidson and his associates start by crystallizing their drink of choice. They've tried cocktails, liquors, beer, and others. Then they use a standard light microscope with an attached camera to capture the image. Since the light source is polarized and passed through crystal, the result is brilliant patterns of color. Scientists have also explored the mysteries of pollen up close. Depending on their plant origins, pollen spores vary in appearance. Even with their differences, each spore ends up looking pretty intricate under a microscope. Saturate the image with color and you have a quirky, alien-like pollen spore. Although most people know that no two snowflakes are exactly alike, their differences are magnified when viewed up close or under a microscope. A snowflake's appearance varies based on the temperature, air currents, humidity conditions, and other environmental factors surrounding its creation. Generally, most snowflakes are six-sided though those that are created in warmer temperatures often look smoother and less geometric. Looking at snowflakes under a microscope can provide much information about the conditions present while the snow was being formed and are therefore a helpful tool for scientists. Humans generally wouldn't like to see their own bodies under a microscope, but those that are brave enough will hardly recognize their own features. Teeth look incredibly bizarre under a microscope. All human teeth are made up of four layers that include protective enamel, dentin, pulp, and the cementum. Under a microscope, it's easy to see where the enamel has deteriorated and been replaced with cavities in plaque. Other pictures show cavity-causing bacteria interacting with other microbes in the mouth and on the teeth. Colin Salter's 2015 book, Science is Beautiful, shows us some amazing images of the human body under a microscope. When the photos are colorized, they look like masterpieces of art. The first subject of the book is human blood cells. Stem cells in bone marrow divide and transform into blood cells. This process is constantly happening because blood cells don't live for a very long time. Red ones about 120 days, some white ones as little as three, writes Salter. The result is something that looks like an abstract painting. Even more mesmerizing are the fractalized images that make up our adrenaline crystals. Glands that produce adrenaline are controlled by the hypothalamus, the part of the brain responsible for instinct and emotion, writes Salter. We always have small amounts of adrenaline in our blood, but when we're stressed, we get more. 
It widens the airways of the lungs and constricts small blood vessels. This makes the muscles work harder and produces a fight or flight response, he wrote. Although every individual loses between 40 to 200 strands of hair per day, none of those strands looks half as cool as they do when under a microscope. A human hair shaft is made up of a hard protein called keratin and contains three layers which include the medulla, cortex and cuticle. These layers can break when mistreated and result in broken, fragmented strands. Then there's food. Many of the things we eat are much less appetizing when viewed up close. Other vegetables, such as turnips, rhubarb and tomatoes, are also pretty cool to see up close. This brings us to microorganisms, the creatures that microscopes are most often used to observe. Most of these creatures can make us sick and look truly disgusting under a microscope. Being tiny doesn't stop viruses, bacteria, certain insects and other microscopic critters from causing all sorts of misery. But under the microscope, we can see them for what they truly are. Images made using a scanning electron microscope revealed the free-swimming protozoan giardia, which causes diarrhea and other symptoms when it infects the small intestine, often as a result of contaminated drinking water. Another scientist unveiled the structure of an Ebola virus particle. Ebola causes high fever and severe internal bleeding, and it's often fatal. The image looks like a string wrapped in a haphazard pattern, but it's truly a deadly virus. An image from 2005 shows virus particles from the 1918 flu virus, which scientists sequenced and then recreated. These particles were collected from an infected cell culture made of dog's kidney cells. The Spanish flu of 1918 killed more than 500,000 people in the United States and up to 50 million worldwide, according to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. When photographed up close, H5N1 bird flu viruses show up in gold. They have infected a cell culture made of canine kidney cells shown in green. Scientists and public health officials fear H5N1 could one day cause a flu pandemic, just as H1N1 did in 1918. However, people will likely be concerned by these viruses without learning about their epidemiology. Instead, the average person will be horrified simply seeing this organism magnified to a visible size.